Uninvited Guests by Gavin Cottrell. The doorbell rang. Bob got up from his couch and walked over to the door to answer. This must be the new rug I ordered, he thought. He opened the door. Sure enough, it was a rug delivery man with Bob's rug. Bob paid the delivery man, thanked him, and took the rug from him. Then the phone rang. Without thinking, Bob threw the rug down the stairs into the basement and answered the phone. It was a person named Andrew. Andrew asked about the rug. Bob assumed that Andrew was from the rug company. After talking to Andrew, Bob hung up. And then he got distracted and totally forgot about the rug. After about two weeks, Bob went into the basement to get a new bottle of ketchup. Then he saw the rug by the stairs. He noticed for the first time a tiny door. The doorknob turned. When Bob saw the doorknob turning on its own, he got very scared and confused. He heard faint whispering. It seemed to have been coming from the door. Bob slowly stepped toward the door. Bob was proud of himself. He was not usually this brave. Suddenly, the tiny door s swung open. There was a, tiny, there was a giant mouse where, uh, standing on its high legs in the doorway. Hello, my name is Andrew, the mouse squeaked. Bob stared at it. Was he going crazy? He suddenly remembered someone named Andrew who spoke in the same voice as the mouse. Andrew had called just as the rug had been delivered. So that was a mouse, Bob thought. When you bought this house three months ago, you stole our house, so we will drive you out of our house just like we have driven out the other 68 people, the strange talking mouse said. Then ten other giant mice came, marching in through the tiny door, carrying along poles. Bob grabbed the first thing he saw to hit with. That was the rolled up rug. He tried to hit one of the mice with the rug, but they just flicked away the rug. Bob got down on his knees and started to push the mice bit through the door. After about an hour, Bob had pushed all the giant mice into the door. Bob found a shelf and pulled it in front of the little door. Then Bob grabbed his rug and walked up the stairs and set it up.